Good afternoon everybody, so welcome to a new episode here in the Philippines and today we are back here in Manila and we're gonna do something special. Yeah. So today we are doing, we're going to the highest reviewed Palabok restaurant here in Manila and we're in this area called Star Ana. So we're now, the taxi driver actually dropped us off around six minutes away from the Star Ana market, public market, which is a wet market. And I believe the <laughs> the wet market is around six minutes away from here. Got kicked. Ah. Anyway, new district, new area. Like usual, vanilla ambience. <laughs> Very loud noise. Long time don't walk together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but for those of you who said like, where, where is Alina? The <laughs> Alina break up with Justin. <laughs> because my friend, Russian friend, my Russian friend come to visit me in Manila, so I spend time with her. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why she's been missing. But anyway, for those of you who are new to the Philippines or is planning to come to the Philippines, just want to explain to you guys what palabok is. So palabok essentially is a rice noodle dish with shrimp sauce, savory sauce. Palabok is a traditional Filipino dish that originated from the central Luzon region of the Philippines. The main ingredients of palabok are bihun noodles, shrimp sauce, and various toppings such as boiled shrimp, boiled pork, fried tofu, chicharron, sliced boiled egg, chopped green onions and coriander or parsley. And today we're here at Bev's Palabok to try according to Google the best reviewed Palabok in Hove, Manila. I already see it. So from afar, we're here at our destination. So welcome to the highest reviewed Palabok restaurant in Manila called Bev Palabok. Hello. Hello. And lots of different food vendors already selling, I think some sort of like rice dessert. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, there is Karinderi here. I can keep going straight. I think this is it. So this is the famous place called Best Palabok. Palabok. Hello, just for two people, please. Yeah. What would you like to try? We have those menu right here. We just know that it's very famous for palabok here. Oh yeah. So we just want to try your palabok, whichever one that you think it's the best. Okay. Which... I will surprise you then. <laughs> okay, all right. Please yeah. Stop. All right. So uh, the chef said he will surprise us. Would you like to try our combo, which is palabok and with a spring roll and soft drinks together? Sounds good. Otherwise, we have also a rice cake together with drinks and palabok. Yeah, we'll try one set first. Yeah. Thank you. So, if you guys don't know it already, so palapak is a rice noodle dish with savory shrimp sauce. From what I saw on the internet, sometimes they use some crispy things called chicharan, which is pig skin. Oh, there you go, spring rolls. <laughs> and of course, everything is served with kalamasi. So we've had palapak before in Manginaso, but I think this is completely different level. I'm yeah. so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so nervous. Not lie, me too. Very nervous. Before we dive into tasting, let's have a look at the menu. You can choose your portion, type of noodles and snacks such as buto which means rice cake, toke which means spring rolls and siomai and more. Of course, different dishes here in the Philippines can be cooked differently. So here at Best Palabok, the Palabok, it's using the ingredients. So I'm going to explain one by one. So it could be a bit different to other recipes, but this is the recipe. They're saying there is like fried garlic. So I think it's explained one by one here. So this is the fish flakes, dry fish flakes. They really like grind it into like powder kind of thing. And this one right here is fried sauteed tofu. And next on the list, they, he also said there is fried garlic. And one thing I noticed, I went in here, I did some research before I came here. So one thing that makes the color of the shrimp sauce that's orange is this thing called anata seed, which makes the color of the sauce orange. And also a top with like spring onions and some eggs in the end. And now we've got a spring roll to finish up the whole dish as well. To be honest, this is, looks really good and really interesting mm -hmm. because we almost first time trying Local palapok. Yeah, local palapok is different to Mangi Yeah, different. I, I guess it's different. So. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Okay, can so. wait. Let's try. All right, let's try this. Together, I need to be synchronized at the same same time. Okay. I want to get a mix of everything so I get the full experience of it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, I just smell. Okay, okay. How does it smell? It smells good. Like a sauce with yeah. cream. It smells like a thick sauce and That's yeah, it smells good. Okay. Let's okay. try. Right. 
What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like onion, but it tastes good. It tastes good, really good. It's better than I expected. I think it's very different compared to the the one at Marina so because that is the standard that we had before. This is the authentic shrimp sauce. Oh. And this, he said, oh, I forgot to mention, inside there's also this fried belly, he said. Fried belly, yeah. belly. Yeah. Fried pork So belly. it's meant to be crispy. Okay. So crispy. Mm -hmm. Good. So this crispy pork belly is that fried pork belly is called chicharron. So it's the same ones when you go on the bus, when you go on a road trip, so I could barbecue, or some people would get on the bus and they would hold that whole bag of chicharron to sell. It's like a snack. I think for me, I would see this dish as a as a snack. I wouldn't see this dish as a main dish because yeah, everything to me it's like very light light and different texture. It's like a snack to me. It's a main dish because for me it's like... Feeling? Yeah, so feeling. If I eat this uh, like full portion, then I'll feel so full. Cool. Alright, so a few bites into this falafel. We kind of want to try something different, like add a te texture. So we want to try the spring roll. So lots of different spring rolls around the world have different ingredients. I'm not too sure what it's inside, this spring roll. So based on observation, I see what's inside those bean sprouts and carrot, celery, yes. and chicken. No, there is no meat at all. Let's see, let's see how it tastes. I am not very familiar with mixing food with vinegar before, but let's give it a try. Okay. <laughs> the skin itself, I don't think it's very crispy, not too crispy, but inside the ingredients are very fresh because they use bean sprouts. I like vegetarian um, spring rolls in general because it kind of reminds me of Vietnamese spring rolls which are quite, I guess like healthy apart from the other side of the fried fried stuff. I will try like a bite because I'm a, I see how Justin cut it so hard. Yeah, it is quite hard, the skin. It's a little bit salty, enough salty and also I feel a lot of cabbage, many veggie mm -hmm. and it's not so oily. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I think I think I like it. Most of the time, like spring rolls from different uh, countries, especially the ones I had it in Vietnam. Sometimes the spring rolls because they just came straight out of the um, fryer, so it could get very oily. And inside, typically there is um, meat inside as well. But this one, I like the crunchiness of the okay. green sprouts. How much you give this? One to ten. Mm, for me, I would give it a. I think for me, I'll give it a six. six. Yeah, for me, it's okay. Six to ten. This yeah. one? This one, I'll give it a nine. Nine? Nine yeah, to Yeah, is good. Yeah, I like palapok. Yeah, I think the same. The same. Okay, really? this is seven. This is seven. seven, seven this, is, this is nine to ten. Nine to ten. Just now, I said it kind of, it's like a snack for me, but now I kind of agree with you, it's a main dish. Palapok, they say, it's usually a dish that they would bring it to some sort of celebrations, festivals, or even birthdays. It's like a traditional Filipino dish. If you want to try a Filipino dish, then palapok is one dish that you can add to your list. Uh, they also said there are other variations of palapok as well. For example, you can add crab meat inside, you can add squid. So you can add different kinds of seafood, not just shrimp. So, we just came out from Beth's palapok. So this is, as I was saying, as the highest reviewed palapok restaurant in Manila. So we get to try it firsthand, so it was a pleasure. So my honest review of palapok of course, it's very different to the Mainasa one that we had. It's very different because they add extra ingredients inside, like the crispy pork bellies, and it's just different. The sauce is thicker, it's more tasty, more flavor. Uh, with the shrimp taste, it's very strong as well. So, I personally like that, but whether I would eat it as a main dish, I am not too sure. I think. I don't think I will. Um, simply because, yeah, for me, it's like eating. A noodle or like a rice dish a lot so say like if you eat um, like a spaghetti like bolognese you keep it's, eating it's it because it's they don't quite have heavy meat or beef yeah oh. I feel like there is not like a main side thing like for example <laughs> in curry there is sauce and there is like meat 
uh, but in this dish, it's just noodles with sauce. It's missing like the meat, the just protein, I think. Just chicken. Yeah, <laughs> if you add chicken in there, I think it will be very perfect, tasty. Mm. Uh, absolutely. Oh, I wouldn't say it's like top, 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 the best dish in the Philippines because there's so definitely a lot more, more delicious dishes here in the Philippines. Yeah, like sinigan, if you didn't try sinigan, we yeah. totally recommend it. It's our favorite dish in the Philippines. But palabok is really interesting and it's something new for me. Mm. And yeah, it's so good experience. I love trying new food. But yeah, if you're down to try Palabok, then if you're not ready to go to this kind of local experience, I would first recommend going to Mangi Naso and try the Palabok over there, which is like a beginner version of Palabok. But if you're down to experience a local experience, like the local food, then you can come to Best Palabok to try the Palabok as well. I think overall it's a good experience to experience this Filipino culture. Yeah, we will put location in our subscription. And thank you for watching this. Yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. See you guys in the next episode. Bye. Goodbye.